in the fall vibes. I'm kind of over the traveling. I'm over the trip to be home, to be in cozy mode and open air. Side by side we sway there in all the colors. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am in such a great mood when I'm starting this. It's Tuesday. We just got back home from New York City and I'm probably just gonna end up vlogging for the rest of the week. So it's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's three o'clock right now and I haven't really vlogged a lot today just because I was picking up cash for my parents because he was staying there while we were in New York and then also just getting some work done this morning. And the first task is picking up groceries. So we're headed to Trader Joe's right now. I made a list of some things and I am feeling the fall vibes let me just say it has been raining a lot here lately in texas it's also been such a gloomy day today i lit my fall candle and it's not 90 degrees and i am just kind of entering this phase of i'm kind of over the traveling i'm over the trips they have been really nice and new york was so much fun i'm ready just to be home to be cozy and enjoying the season and i know it's only august i'm usually not one of those people who kind of gets into fall in august but i am feeling that way this year and just kind of ready to get back into a solid routine and kind of be on a schedule make our house really cozy i still feel like we haven't fully put together our home so i'm really excited i'm in a really great mood and on the menu for this week i just have a couple of dinners i want to make some chicken enchiladas this is like a one scale chicken enchilada recipe that i love i think i want to make it tonight because it's just super cozy and then also these are 20 minute thai basil beef lemongrass rice bowls and both of those are from half baked harvest so i want to cook dinner tonight i want to get a workout in i also want to do a quick kind of tidy up of the house just kind of a small getting things together unpack and then tomorrow we'll be back into the schedule and i have some fun things planned for the rest of the week too that i've been looking forward to so i'll share those i also have this shelf in the back seat because i just picked it up from my my sister-in-law i've always wanted one of these wicker shelves and she asked if i wanted it because they're trying to kind of downsize how much stuff they have and so i'm excited to put that either in the apartment or i'm probably going to end up just saving it for when we have a house and kind of storing it in our apartment somewhere but i've always wanted one of those so i'll definitely show you guys when we bring that up let's go ahead and get these groceries though back home now and I'm gonna share a grocery haul from everything that I got but I did want to note that I also met a subscriber in there which was so sweet and always makes my day so if you have me watching thank you for saying hi it always always makes my day and it's just so nice to meet people in person let me know if you like when the grocery hauls are set up like this or if you like when I just film the stuff I kind of like watching them set up like this but let me know what you prefer. Got some pretzels, tortilla chips, cheddar rockets. I happened to open up the snack bag first, but we were kind of all out of snacks. So I wanted to get a few of those. Tortillas for tonight's recipe. And then also some of these mango slices. These are my favorite, just the just mango ones. Avocados, pita chips, some red enchilada sauce for that recipe. A couple of these draft lattes. Aiden likes these, so I always try to get a couple of those. And then we needed some cherry tomatoes. So I got these heirloom ones and they're so pretty. I always like the ones that are mixed rather than just getting the red tomatoes. And then these I've never tried, but I really want to try them. They are called plum cots. They're part plum, part apricots, apricots, and they look really good. Some broth as well as coconut milk for a recipe. Handful of chopsticks and then also some of this brioche bread, which is probably the best bread ever. We have some of the sourdough that I baked left, but not a ton. So I wanted to get a bit of bread, some basil, bananas, and then a bunch of produce and such for recipes as well as one of these ginger aid kombuchas. These are my favorite kombuchas to have. I've never had this, but this is the chunky chocolate chip cookie dough and I kind of want to make these tonight. So picked up those to have, green onions. And then this is also another thing that I've never tried and I've heard good things about them. They are the chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's. And I think you set these out overnight and then you bake them in the morning and they're supposed to be really fluffy. So I'm definitely gonna try these this week sometime. Also got some of the wine country chicken salad. I really like to have this on bread as well as some of the lentil soup because I've been craving soup lately, so picked up that. Cheese for a recipe. I also really like getting the berry mix. I always put these in my oatmeal and I just keep them frozen. That's what I've been doing lately and they're really good. I haven't had these in a while, but I always really like these in college. They're the chicken sausages. And I always like to put those with rice and veggies. Super quick, easy lunch. A bell pepper, some meat for our recipes. And then lastly, we just have a couple of things. I've never tried their overnight oats, but I figured I could try those as well as this is just the blueberry goat cheese 
cheese. I really like having this on crackers. So that is everything, kind of a lot of stuff, but now I feel very well stocked and ready to put all this stuff away and then also just tidy up, get organized. I got fun stuff. Look, please. I know I like these tonight. I love you. I love you. I'm also gonna wash some of my produce. And when I do that, I just use this veggie and fruit wash. This is from Trader Joe's. I just soak it in a little bit of warm water and then rinse it through. Super easy. And I try to do this when I remember to. I don't always do it, but I definitely know your fruit can be super dirty. So it's helpful to do this. get a workout in and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run today which I haven't been feeling but for some reason today I'm feeling like going for a run so I'm gonna do that I changed into this top this is actually from story I think they're releasing this soon but I got this when I got back before I go down though something that always happens every time I travel is I feel so dehydrated I just never end up drinking as much water when I'm traveling as opposed to when I'm home and something that I like to use to try to drink more water I've shared them in the past is water drop and I've been using water drop for months now since the last time I shared them with you guys. It's the best way if you struggle with not drinking enough water, you just don't like the taste of water, but you also don't wanna drink like sugary drinks or something like that. Water Drop is great because it's made from real plants and real fruits, and I love the taste of them. There are different micro drinks that you can choose from. I have a few here, and they also have some limited edition ones that are coming out soon. This one is their Sky Flavor, and it is pineberry, passion fruit, cactus fruit. This one has a really just light taste, and that's why I like all of them. None of them are super over overpowering they're just really subtle also not sweet there isn't any sugar in them or anything this is the youth one and this one has peach ginger aloe vera and so they're all really natural and all of the micro drinks are 100 sugar-free vegan and gluten-free and for every pack that is sold water drop will collect and recycle one ocean bound plastic bottle which is great they're also coming out with a new flavor it's called breeze and i believe it is watermelon and cucumber which sounds so refreshing and that one i'm actually going to get on friday so if it comes in by the time this video Video goes up I will share my thoughts on it when I try it hi from the future it is official I have received the breeze flavor so we're gonna try it today I'm very excited we've got the cutest watermelon cucumber packaging Ooh, that is so good. I love the cucumber. It tastes like whenever you infuse water with different fruits, especially cucumber. Very, very refreshing. That one's definitely my favorite. And I'm not just saying that, that's really good. And all you do is take your water bottle. So they have a ton of really beautiful water bottles on their website. Like how pretty is this water bottle? I love this one. It has the frosted glass and it's pink super cute and essentially they're just these little tablets and you just pop them in your water and they will dissolve and again it's just a very light taste it's not anything overpowering and it just makes it easier to consume water especially if you'd rather have a taste as opposed to just drinking plain water there are also a lot of vitamins in the different micro drinks so this one in particular has both vitamin c and vitamin b1 so you get lots of just good stuff in your water as well and i've talked about how i've been trying to kind of cut out caffeine as of lately and not do my afternoon coffee as often and so this is something that i've been trying to switch to just if I'm craving something that has a bit more taste, but I know that I should be drinking water and I'm feeling dehydrated, I always try to switch to Water Drop. Also, Water Drop is having a giveaway over on their Instagram right now, and it's to win a free hot air balloon ride, which is awesome. That's actually one of the coolest things I think I've ever done. A while ago, we did a hot air balloon ride in Napa that was for my sister-in-law. It was her bachelorette weekend. It was like the craziest, coolest thing I've ever done. And so if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely check it out. Again, that's over on their Instagram. You guys can use my code, Michelle shell breeze and you will get a free 12 pack and also free shipping with every purchase that is over $30. I'll have them linked at the top of the description box if you guys want to check them out. Again, I'm a big, big fan of water drop and also a big fan of finding easy ways to drink more water. So definitely check them out. I 
just got out of the shower and also did all my skincare. So my skin is quite oily right now. I just have a ton of serum on my skin, but I also went ahead and self tan and I wanted to share that. I've been using the self tanner for years now. It is just the loving tan dark one. And I love this stuff. It is the best to me. I have the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops on my face. So they're a little orange right now, but they'll look more natural as time goes on. But those are my two favorite self tanning products. And then I also wanted to share that I got this pajama set from Amazon and it is so comfortable. I linked this on my Amazon storefront. I'm wearing a medium, but I definitely could have worn a small. I just like really loose pajamas. And so I always size up when I get pajama sets, but it's really affordable and the quality is really nice. So if you're into pajama sets, I would definitely recommend this one. For dinner, I am making this easy skillet chicken tinga enchiladas. This is one of my favorite recipes. It's also super easy. I used to make this all the time when we first got married. So it's definitely a favorite. it into our little bowls and I'm gonna put some toppings on here. It's not very cute, but it really does taste good. Adding some avocado, also adding some Greek yogurt. This is basically just the same as adding in sour cream and it's really good. And then on mine, I really like these hot and sweet jalapenos. These are from Trader Joe's, so I'm just gonna add a few onto mine. It is Wednesday and I just got a workout in, did a quick strength work, not really a quick strength workout. It was like a 45 minute strength workout. I still need to rinse off my self tanner. So I'm a little bit orange. I also walked cash and it is so nice out. It is in the eighties, which feels so cool. Actually probably it was in the seventies when I just walked him. I'm making myself some breakfast and I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the overnight oats that I showed you guys yesterday. These ones are the almond butter chia ones and I'm just gonna add some of a banana in there too. And I will give you guys my review. I have to be honest, I just opened this and the texture, I like, I can't. <laughs> I'm not usually weird with food, but the texture of this is just not vibing for me, like the liquid. And yeah, this is just, it's not gonna happen. I, I'm gonna make myself something else because this just for me, I can't. I'm just gonna make myself my normal oatmeal bowl. I wish I could have eaten it and I probably could have, but that is just not looking good to me. Made myself some oatmeal. I'm really sorry if you like those overnight oats. It may just have been the one that I got, but the texture just was so weird and mushy, which usually overnight oats are, but it was also wet too. So I don't know. I just made myself my normal oats, which are good. But here's a little rundown of what we're gonna get done today. I wanna edit my New York City vlog today. So that's gonna be most of the day. And then I'm so excited. I'm actually building an herb garden on our balcony. I got this set up from Etsy. It's super cute. And I wanna plan out exactly which herbs I wanna do and kind of where to place them. Cause I know with herbs, you have to be sensitive to where they go. Cause one can kind of overtake the other if you don't place them right. So I wanna do some research on that. Cause I'm gonna grab those tomorrow and do everything tomorrow. And that'll be in this vlog. I need to do one work thing for a campaign laundry. We have so much laundry to do. So I have a pile of laundry I wanna get done. And then I need to make a couple of doctor's appointments. So that is the game plan for today. Just kind of like an admin day and then also some fun stuff too. And then later this evening, one of our friends is in town from New York. We're gonna see him tonight too and grab dinner, which will be good. 
Just finished getting ready. I just threw in one of my hair scarves. We got a tank top on, Abercrombie jeans. I don't know why I'm wearing my Converse right now because I'm staying at home, but I just put in a maintenance request because I don't think our AC is working. It is pretty toasty in here, so I'm hoping he can come soon and fix it. Thankfully, it's not really as hot these days, but it's a little toasty, so let's see if that gets figured out. I also am about to start my period. I'm pretty sure I can feel it. And so I already feel like I'm getting like hot flashes right now. It's just a little uncomfortable, but we're gonna get some work done for the next. I was hoping to make an appointment. So I have warts on my knees that I need to get removed. It has been a day. It is about 4.30 right now. And I just finished edits on my New York vlog. That's what I've been working on basically all today. And that is just kind of the summary of what it's like editing videos. I love editing though. It's my favorite part about doing YouTube and connecting with people. I started that at 11.30 and I still have one more thing to do. I need to do the voiceover, but it's almost finished. No complaints though. I'm actually seeing a new woman's health doctor for my stuff that I've talked about, about like going off the pill and everything on my channel. And they were so nice. I feel like sometimes when you call doctor's offices, it's just not a very pleasant experience and you're just not always treated really well, but they were so nice. And my appointment with them is next week. So I'm really, really excited. Cash is wanting to play right now. He is always bringing me socks when we're doing laundry. So I'm about to do a lot of laundry. I have so much to fold and I could wait till Aiden gets home to help me with this because it's, it is a lot, but I just kind of want to get it done. So I'm going to throw something in, do some folding and then get ready for dinner tonight. It is all hung up, folded, feels so good. Good morning. If I look like I'm tired, it's because it is 7 a.m. right now and we are up very early. We are actually headed to Lowe's this morning because I'm getting some herbs for an herb garden that I'm planting. I've talked about this a little bit here and there in the vlogs, but I have always wanted to build a balcony herb garden, something that was really compact, obviously, and just easy to set up. And so today's the day that I'm doing that. I actually kind of put it together last night. I wanted to make sure I didn't need Aiden's help and I had it fine. It was pretty easy to do. So I will share that today. I'm really excited to do it. I've always wanted to grow our own herbs just because we do cook from home a decent amount of time. And I never like buying herbs. It just makes more sense, I think, to try to grow them. And I'll talk more about that later because I'm still waking up right now. I'm in line at Starbucks. I'm gonna grab some coffee and then we're headed to Lowe's. And it's so early because Aiden is using the car today. He is basically in the office every day and I just don't want to drop him off today. I would like to drop him off, but there's just too much stuff to get done. So I am going to Lowe's super early because thankfully they open at like 6 a.m. or something. And Lowe's is probably the only place I'd want to be before 8 a.m. So I'm really excited. And I'm also excited for Starbucks to come out with their pumpkin drinks. I cannot wait. I just checked and I think it said August 10th is when they start them. So you will catch me here grabbing a pumpkin cream cold brew 100%. Hi, could I just get a grande cold brew? Grande cold brew, what else? Um, can I just do one pump of vanilla in there? And then also just a light splash of coconut milk. That is it. Thank you. I felt like I was yelling because the plane was going overhead right when I was recording. But last night was really fun too at dinner. It was nice to catch up with Noah. That was our friend who was in town. I saw the light go down on Baker Street. Don't know exactly where she wants to meet. I'm back now and I was a little bit worried for a second because I went to Lowe's and they were so picked over. I think because people usually stop gardening as much in the fall time, but here it's better weather because it's just not scorching hot, but they did not have anything. I was really nervous. I wouldn't be able to do it today, but I went over to Home Depot and they had so much. So I got everything I wanted. And now I'm very excited because we are making the chocolate croissants. I'm actually gonna whisk an egg to put on top because they said that that'll make it on the box. It mentioned that it would make shiny and crisp if you do this. So we're going to do that and do a taste test. I'm really excited. 
So I'm recording this inside because it is very loud outside when I'm on the balcony, but this is the planner that I got. I built part of it because I, like I mentioned, wanted to make sure I was able to, but it has four of these boxes and it just leans up against the balcony wall. It's the perfect size for an apartment because it's just so small to fit on a balcony. And I got this from Etsy and it's really cool because she sells a bunch of different sizes. She can pretty much custom make it for whatever you want. There are all my herbs out here, here. We're gonna try to go outside. Here's my haul of the herbs that I got. I will say that a lot of them were definitely kind of sad just because it is really hot here in Texas and I think they were just kind of trudging along, but these were kind of the best ones that I could find. So we have some rosemary over here and the rosemary is probably the saddest. There's definitely some sad parts on it, but I think we can revive it once we plant it. I'm really excited. And then we have some parsley right here. And then I have two different kinds of basil. So this is Italian basil, and then we also have the Thai basil, which I often cook with these the most. So I'm really hoping that these thrive. And I've never done herbs before, so this could be a fail, but I am very, very excited. I think it's gonna be super cute. So we're gonna do that later. Just took these out of the oven, and they look so good. And our apartment smells amazing right now. I cannot wait to try these. I'm gonna let them cool though, take cash out, go for a little walk, and then we're gonna try them. I did my first impression over on Instagram, but guys, I love them. They're so good. I had mixed reviews in my DMs. Some people liked them, some people didn't, but this is so good for frozen pastries. Oh my goodness, I would definitely recommend. This is a yes for me. It's so flaky, a lot of chocolate, which I like. Mm. It's time to build our structure. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the rest of the boxes onto it, and I'm gonna do it outside because it's actually not that hot today, so. Just built the structure. It was so easy, so super duper easy to put together. And I think I'm just gonna keep it here by the flowers down there. And now it is time to plant all of ours. I'm gonna go grab some soil and then start. Just finished, it looks so cute and I'm so excited to have fresh herbs now. The only thing is I might end up actually moving it over to this side because this side, as you can tell, just gets a lot more direct sunlight and I know herbs need like quite a bit of sun for the most part, except for the parsley, that's why that one's on the bottom. So yeah, I may end up switching it. I did do two plants in some of them and I think they may be a little bit too close together. I think I might just have to stick with doing one. So I might end up taking one out depending on how they do. It was definitely a fun little project and super easy too. I've been getting work done for most of the day after doing all the herbs, had to send in a video. So I just did that. I'm actually making dinner a little bit early tonight because we're actually seeing some friends tonight. We're gonna go play top golf with them. And so I wanted to get started on dinner because this has a lot of chopping. It's easy, but it has a lot of chopping. It's the 20 minute Thai basil beef and rice bowls. Should be good.
we just ate dinner and dinner was so good you guys have to try that recipe so easy to a very quick one but so nice and so colorful it was such a colorful meal which always makes me feel really happy when i eat something that has all the colors and now we're about to head out to go play top golf so i'm gonna show you guys a little outfit because i feel cool in this i feel like sometimes when i do athleisure i just can't pull it off but I really like today. <laughs> I am wearing these biker shorts that are actually from an Amazon set that I just ordered and it came in the mail today. So I got excited and put it on. It has a top that's like this, but it's a little too cropped for me. So I just threw on this hoodie over top. And then my hat that I'm wearing is from Cut. And then I just threw on, of course, my same high top platform Converse. 